Hi guys, welcome back to Scadia.com. Today we're going to be learning about the surface anatomy of the thorax. So first we need to understand what is surface anatomy. Surface anatomy provides knowledge of what structures are beneath the skin and the palpable structures in the living body at rest and in action. So the aim is to visualize structures that give contours to the skin surface. So those uh, structures that are right underneath the skin, we're talking about those muscles, those bones, and sometimes even vascular structures, such as the cephalic vein. Surface anatomy also helps to see abnormal findings in clinical practice. A good example would be if a patient presented with a gunshot wound, the doctor must be able to visualize which structures may be damaged. Okay, so what are the important surface landmarks? Uh, today, we're going to cover nine bony landmarks and nine soft tissue landmarks that uh, a, a student needs to know from an exam point of view. There are probably more uh, surface landmarks, but these are the more important ones that we look at. So in the nine bony landmarks, we have first clavicles, the sternum, the suprasternal notch, the sternal angle, the infrasternal angle, the xiphysternal joint, the costal cartilage, the ribs, and the thoracic vertebral spines. And the nine soft tissue landmarks are, number one, the anterior median line, the midclavicular line, the mid-axillary line, the posterior median line, the scapular line, the intercostal spaces, the trachea, the nipple, and the apex feet. So we've made uh, these two mnemonics to help you remember what to look for when spotting surface landmarks on a real patient. So for the bony surface landmarks, I can see the suprasternal notch on CT scan and x-ray. So for I, we have the infrasternal angle. Then we have the clavicles. And then the sternum. The suprasternal notch, the costal cartilages, the thoracic vertebral spines, the sternal angle, the xiphysternal joint, and the ribs. So there you have it. These are the bony surface landmarks that you need to look for on a patient. I can see the suprasternal notch on CT scan and x-ray. Now let's move on to the soft tissue landmarks. So here is the mnemonic for the soft tissue landmarks. I made a new soft tissue map. I for intercostal spaces, M for mid axillary line, A for apex beat, N for nipple, S for so scapular line, T for trachea, M for mid clavicular line, A for anterior median line and P for posterior median line. So there you have it. This is what you're going to be looking for as the soft tissue landmarks on a real patient. I made a new soft tissue map. So there you have it. Now that we've discussed all of the soft tissue and bony landmarks of the surface anatomy of the thorax, let's get into a little bit more detail in the next section.